Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is Thursday, March 17th, 2022, St. Patty's Day. Of course, I'm not Irish, but I did make some uh, Reuben soup, creamy Reuben soup with corned beef uh, this week, and that's delicious. But anyway, what you're looking at here is a box from the Field Company. Modern ma manufacturers of cast iron skillets have always wanted them. I still have my stargazers, but I'm really not happy with the stargazers. They don't hold seasoning, and they will darken in time with use. And the number 10, which is like a 12-inch, has been cooking fairly well, but I wanted something a little bit larger, and I'm not going to go with stargazer. So I found a sale from the field company where if you bought a larger one, a uh, number 12, which is I think 13 and 3 8 inches, you could get a number six for six bucks. So I took advantage of it and it turned out to be free shipping. So let's go ahead and open it up. Just ordered this the other day, I think Monday, today's Thursday. And we're just gonna open the box and see what we got here. And oh boy, they put the packing material in here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it's wonderful because I use all this stuff for my online store. And you may see the kitty cat in the video, but I'm gonna take this stuff out of the box. There are the two skillets, the number 12 and the number six. And I will show you why I actually ordered these, but I will be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, I am back. I took these two boxes that have the skillets out of the huge box. Had to get rid of the bubble wrap. Actually, I stored it in my inventory room because this guy, this little kitty here, loves to eat plastic. <laughs> Strange. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and open these. This is the number six. So if you bought the larger one at normal price, you got this one for $6. This no normally costs $115. And I needed a number six. We're going to go ahead and open it up here. Oh, beautiful. I needed a number six because I have two vintage ones. I have a Wagner that's slightly warped and spins. I have a six uh, small logo Griswold that has a crack right about here. And I just wanted one that was just perfect. So here it is. Perfect. Wow. I like the way they package it. They, they put boxes within a box with bubble wrap. And this has a nice chocolatey brown look. Let me move it down here so you can actually see it a little bit better. And I'll actually give you a glimpse of it in my kitchen. And there is the back. It has a little assist handle. All their skillets have an assist handle, and I love that feature. It's so number six. It's beautiful. It's just perfect. So it comes in this nice box. And it's got instructions how to take care of it. We, I already know how to take care of it, but that's the number six. I'm going to make an omelet with it, try it out. And then we're going to try this big one. And I went ahead and pre-scored the box. Go ahead and move that up. Oh, is that a gorgeous pan? Look at that. Oh, it comes in this beautiful uh, box. I'm totally happy so far. This is a nice big skillet. And I got this one. I can do omelets or maybe two small hamburgers in this one when I'm making hamburgers for dinner. This one, I can grill up some sausages, sausage links, some bacon, and maybe do a fried egg or two all at the same time in the same skillet. And that's one reason why I got this. Or if I want to do several pork chops without them bumping into each other, I needed something larger than a number 10. This is a number 12, about 13 and 3 eighths inches. So let's check out the back. It's actually very smooth. And I'm just going to rinse it out a little bit before I uh, cook with it. And there is the back side. I'm going to go ahead and move it. It's kind of heavy, but it's got the assist handle. And it's lighter than the competition, that's for sure. It is beautiful. Look at that. Field Company. Number 12, made in USA. So I'm going to move these guys, you know, to the kitchen so you can get a little bit better view. So I will be right back. 
Okay, guys, here we are in the stove top. It looks like kind of like a chocolatey brown grayish tint to it. They put three coats of grapeseed oil on it, according to their website. Um, I may give it another coat of seasoning. If you guys have these, did you guys cook with it right away, or did you give it another layer of seasoning? Um, here is the back of it, or bottom. Field company made in USA and this thing sits very flat no wobble no spin so there is the number and it's light that'd be a great omelet pan or just making a burger or two and so I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here and I will be right back for the bigger one so here's the bigger one on the stove top, and I push the handle, it just sits perfectly flat. That's how I test for wobble. It's got the nice assist handle. This is going to be beautiful. Again, it has the same uh, grayish, uh, chocolatey brown color to it, which is typical with three coats of uh, grapeseed oil. And we're going to flip it over, and it's got the nice assist handle. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down. I love the back. I love the design of these. I don't know why I didn't get these to start with. I think I didn't get them because they didn't have pour spouts. And the Stargazer had a nice rim that was easy to pour things out of them, but they're very heavy, so it makes them harder to use. So six of one, half a dozen of the other, but I'm really happy with these, and I'm going to look, I'm going to enjoy cooking with them. So I may do a video just breaking in the number six. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give me a thumb up if you like videos like this. I uh, appreciate you watching, and go make it a great day.